It is the dimensions you're operating from. How you think, how you start stressing. There's no stress in higher dimensions. The person who's, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't, there is no, nothing like that. Can you look at Moses and, and the people of Israel? They're all crying. Moses, why did you do this to us? Moses never cried. Moses stretched his hand and the way was made. The difference was dimensions. Trust you me. If you want your prayers to be effective, if you want your prayers to be causing results, stop thinking the way you think. The devil will do nothing to you. I'm telling you, your problems are useless and they are living. And it must be in your heart. Begin to see yourself victorious. Begin to see yourself righteous. Oh, yes. Begin to see yourself holy. Yes. Begin to see yourself a conqueror. Oh, yes. You are going to become one of the richest women in this world. Oh, yes. You'll be a richest man. I'm telling you as a prophet. This must be your looking of things. This is how your eyes must be. There's no any great exploit in the Bible. Nobody who, was an, who did exploits thought the way sometimes you think. No matter what they went through. Nobody. Nobody. When Jesus was on the cross, Mary was crying. That was a fake tear. She knew who Jesus was. She even told the people. But whatever he tells you, Dimension. Stop worrying. You are blocking yourself. You are making yourself to operate from a place where demons have access to you. Listen to me. Anyone in the third dimension cannot command something from the fourth dimension. Never. It is what is in the fourth dimension that can influence the third dimension. The devil always bring you into the third dimension to attack you. So you say, before you know, ah, ah, the moment you just say, ah, I don't know what, what will I do? The moment you begin to say, I don't know what will I do? It is the moment you begin to see from the left, from the right, from this, problems coming from everywhere. Because the devil knows that I have managed to bring her at a place where I can actually attack her. Move out quickly. Go back to the higher level and begin to say, I'm rich. I'm healed. That's what Jesus said. That's what the Bible says. Let the poor say. Let the blind say. Your mindset must change. Your vocabulary must change. Tomorrow, I will talk about the fifth and the sixth dimension. By the time I'll be finishing the sixth. <laughs> You feel like just taking your phone like this, go to your bank account and say money appear and the check again. I'm telling you. You feel like just checking your bank account again. You, you're going to keep on checking until something has happened. It's a dimension where people think you're crazy. You think, you think it, was, it was, what was Elijah thinking? Elijah says, go and check if there is rain. He went to check like this. I'm being told to go and check if it is rain. And he's praying here and he knows up there there's no cloud. And he tells me to be the one checking. Did you hear me? The answers of Elisha, that small cloud, I assume it was already there all this time. Only that he was not seeing it with his eyes. Until he said, sir, on the seventh time, he said, sir, only a small cloud. He said, in that small, I hear the abundance of rain. Until you can start hearing, uh, until you can start hearing an abundance of breakthrough. 
in the little amount of money. Oh yes, Major. Bring it on that day. Until you can start hearing an abundance of hearing. Yes. In the little relief of pain from your body. Oh yes. Just that you see, whether your your leg is painful, the moment just feel like a little relief. Begin to hear the abundance of healing. Trust you me, you are not into the higher dimensions. Trust you me, until you begin. So when you begin to hear this, uh, uh, something is taking place here. Something is going on here. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. As you take your oil, Father, I pray. Move these people to a dimension they have never seen. Hmm. Father, I pray. You move these people to a dimension they have never seen. Tonight, you see, before I make this prayer, I was watching, but I'm, I'm following closely as an intercessor what is happening in Russia and Ukraine. And you know what they've done? The Russians have done a weapon. All right? Which it is able to blind all the drones. Oh, are you hearing me? Then they've done another weapon, which they're calling it a razor weapon. Which it uses light and attacks the, 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 the drone. So one will blind it and one will use light and attack it. But the first one will be blinding. So the cameras, the drone has got a camera. So the cameras will be blinded. And the Christians can't think of that. The first thing we have to do is to blind the monitor. Whatever has been monitoring your life. Yes. No. Are you following me, somebody? That man, Paul, blinded him. In Acts 13. Elemas. Apostle Paul blinded him. Because he was monitoring. Every time, he was monitoring. Apostle Paul said, you're not going to be seen. Until I'm done doing my job. So you'll be blind first. There are some demons now. We have to blind them until your breakthrough has happened. Yes. There are some demons. We have to blind them until your promotion has taken place. Oh yes. There are some demons. We have to blind them until something has happened. Yes. Put your oil upon your head. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus tonight. We are your people. We are your generation. As we put the oil upon our heads. I command in the name of Jesus that every monitoring spirit near or far from the mountains or from the sea shall never have access again over these people. They will never have access again over us. We speak a blinding in the spirit realm in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. I pray for everybody watching wherever you are. May you move from that level to another level. To a level where demons will not have access to you. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. So I receive it. Rub your hands.